Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. I just want to do a quick uh, rant, I guess, about the state of affairs that we find ourselves in. And we live in a world where it's upside down. War is peace. Poverty is profit. Freedom is prison. I mean... <sighs> torture is freedom like these motherfuckers they have literally destroyed our country literally destroyed our culture we live in a culture where people are just upside down we're being bombarded by chemtrails we're being bombarded by radioactive contamination which we know is going to cause genetic mutations and the only thing that's different is that people aren't admitting it anymore the few people that watch this video even if you like it, how many of you will take action and call your congressmen, call your senators? Most people have just fucking given up on all those guys. I've given up on them. For fuck's sake, I call them, but do I expect them to do jack shit? No. You know, I call the Rachel Maddow show and give her the fucking, what I call the Tokyo Rose Alert every time she fucking acts like, you know, their little mouthpiece, which I did recently. I mean, we saw the Benghazi hearing reports and like, depending on your point of view, left, right paradigm, the whole thing was a fucking debacle. The whole bullshit of Hillary Clinton getting free advertising by sponsored by the GOP on our tax dollars. Hillary Clinton gets free advertising on, oh, I'm such a strong woman. You know... And people get mad at her for lying, but that if you're going to be in big, 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 big government, the deep government, it's tacit knowledge. You're going to have to lie. You have to lie or you're dead. Paul Wellstone got killed. He refused to lie. Paul Wellstone got killed because he refused to lie. Pat Tillman got killed because he refused to lie. Pat Tillman got killed. Pat Tillman got killed. Pat Tillman got killed by our own soldiers, by our own government, by George Bush and Donald Rumsfeld. They killed him. Michael Hastings was killed. He was murdered. His car blew up. The Los Angeles Police Department put a blanket over where the fucking bomb went off. And we're supposed to all pretend the emperor has no fucking clothes. While six million Americans are drinking uranium-tainted water, not one times, not two times, 89 times over the contamination limit, six million people are drinking uranium tainted water 89 times over the contamination limit we know that that's what's being tracked by the university of illinois we know that is anybody in those states taking action against the epa about the nuclear industry demanding accountability out of the nuclear industry our soldiers from the uss reagan are being denied benefits and being denied the knowledge and the acceptance of the fact that them putting their lives at risk at Fukushima has caused them to be debilitated for the rest of their lives and their children are at great risk at having mutations and is anybody doing anything about that I mean I got into this because I I really like the way Kevin Blanche went off and went ranting and raving Is it effective? I don't fucking know. It doesn't seem to be effective. But then neither does being fucking playing, you know, nicey-nicey to every fucking buddy. Chris Busby told me he doesn't want to sound like a lunatic. So he just like, oh, soft balls it. I mean, we're labeled extremists because we say that Fukushima causes harm. Duh, three nuclear meltdowns, at least three nuclear power plants in China syndrome beyond meltdown melt through in complete catastrophic failure for the last going on five years, five years. Chernobyl was stopped in less than a year and it was a one third core meltdown, not a full blown out beyond out of control. You know why the NRC wants to change to the hormosis thesis? 
You do know this because Fukushima is out of fucking control. Ackerman says we need to wake up our conscience. It's not our conscience that needs to be waked up. It's our courage. We need to have not just conscience. We need courage. We live in a cowardly country. We have been trained to be cowards. We're dependent on their medications. We're dependent on all their stuff. We're freaked out about what will happen if these electric lights go off. I mean, we are in catastrophic danger right now. We have in this country, Hanford and, Ge and, and the Columbia Generating Station, which are kind of tied up together because the Columbia Generating Station is only 10 miles away from Hanford. And the state of Washington discovered that it is sitting on I think 10 earthquakes the, on an active earthquake fault right next to an extremely active earthquake fault where they are expecting within the next 50 years an 8.0 or greater earthquake. We have the WIPP which had explosions and we still don't know the fucking truth about what happened. But we do know the cancer rates are off the charts and people are still sick and it is still leaking radiation. We have Bayou Corn which nobody talks about which is the salt domes collapsing which actually have nuclear radioactive waste very near them. Megatons of TNT nearby. All kinds of waste and storage. It, it, that that thing is ex if that goes on fire we're super screwed again now we know about st louis the big fire in st louis that is like smoldering dump only a thousand feet away a thousand yards i think it's a th three meters which is what a thousand yards away from nuclear dump and that's in St. Louis, Missouri, where the news is covering the burning down of the churches, but they're not covering down the radioactive danger and the waste. And people are actually getting sick in St. Louis from it. And we're not talking about Indian Point or Oyster Creek. And Indian Point is actually leaking tritium. And we're not talking about Zion nuclear power plant that was closed down that has an extremely high rate of oncology and brain disorders among children living in that area. Now, that's just the stuff that I know about. So, and Americans are just like, huh, picking their noses going, gee, that's really too bad. There's nothing we can do about it. It's just, they're so horrible. There's nothing we can do. And it's not even about watching TV, you guys. A lot of people who don't pay attention never watch the television. You're not going to get the truth on the television. People already know that. I personally feel as if the skin is being pulled off of my body live. I feel like I'm being skinned alive by these motherfuckers. I'm having to look at my grandchildren grow up in a contaminated world full of nuclear radiation and fucking chemtrails coming down on us in a way that we can't even fucking stop. What is it going to take to get people on this planet to wake up? Not just wake up. I hate that phrase. It's not waking up. We're fucking awake. But take action. Take to the streets. What are we going to take to organize to get out there to stop these motherfuckers from killing us? I don't know. I honestly don't know. You know, Dana Durmford's been out this since Fukushima happened day one. He was studying depleted uranium beforehand. Miss Milky the Clown has been after this since day one. Kevin Blanche was after this from day one. Chris Busby after this from day one. Arnie Gunderson knew exactly what he was softballing from day one. Helen Caldicott was mortified and didn't dare speak the truth that she knew was happening. She was sticking to, quote, scientific facts, but she knew. In fact, she knows exactly what's happening. They know exactly what's happening. We're fucking being killed. Our species, our planet is being wiped off the map. Our countries, our governments, everything is going to be going away because these Fucking motherfucking greedy bastards believe that we are useless feeders. 
I don't know what it's going to take you guys. And I don't know how to resolve this. But frankly, anybody that has an idea, please contact me. Because I know what I think we need to do. We need to organize. This is what I thought we were doing with the Post Ignorance Project. I want us to form a massive group of millions of people, millions and millions of people who are communicating of the same mind and going to fucking park ourselves on government buildings and going, no, you stupid motherfuckers, you're not going to legislate us into extinction, you rat bastards. No. Enough of the profit-only motives. We have to be thinking about humanity and life on this planet and living together and creating cultures that actually create a dynamic planet. I don't know. I guess I'll end here. I look at, I see I'm at 11 minutes, but I'm going to post this up. I hope somebody has some good ideas that you can contact me at nuts for art, N U T Z F O R A R T at Gmail. Please do contact me because we have got to organize into a massive group of something. And I'm not even sure what that something is, but you know what? Until we get it out there, we don't know what it is. We thought it would be the free radicals that didn't work. Post ignorance project that went nowhere. I mean, we need to formulate something, you guys. We need millions and millions, not just 10,000. We need millions of people to understand that we are fucking being killed by the oligarchs and by the capitalists and by the people who think that profit over people is a good idea and that the rich people deserve everything because they're rich. And after all, that's their bloodlines. And if they weren't rich, then God, and if they weren't the best people, God wouldn't have graced them with all their profit. No. No, that's not how it works. Real profit is love in your heart. That's real profit. Real profit is helping everybody manifest the best life that they can have. Not some eat and some don't eat. Not some get an education and some don't. Everybody gets an education. All the humans thrive. We put all of our brain power together because you know what? We need every single fucking human being on this planet to solve the problems of these motherfucking oligarchs. They have done nothing but kill us. Since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, they could give a flying fuck about human beings. I don't know. I am nonplussed, but I will tell you what, you guys. Put your courage feet on. Put your armor on. Put your everything on that you can put on. You know, get an education. Start reading. Start understanding. Look at the political system. Don't just, like, regurgitate, blah, blah, blah. You know, the problem with that, though, I will tell you what, you know why people don't like to do it? Because it takes you away from your religion. When you start getting an education, you start realizing that religion is about controlling women, children, and men. And that's it. It has nothing to do with the Godhead. God is internal and cannot be turned off. And it does not designate who sees God and who doesn't based on your activity, your sexuality, whatever it is you do. You are not excommunicated from God. We are on the edge of extinction, you guys. And in the meantime, we're just sitting there watching the fucking chemtrails come day after day, drinking our tainted uranium water going, hmm, I wonder if this is going to kill us. Yes, it's going to kill us and it's going to make us extinct. That's what it's going to do unless we take action and we need to take action. So if anybody has an idea where we can formulate a group, not just a plan, oh, well, we need to detox. No shit, Sherlock, we need to detox. We need to organize and stop these stupid motherfuckers from killing the planet. That's what we need to do. Put your courage feet on, you guys. Put your thinking caps on. Please get in touch with me. Nuts for Art, N-U-T-Z-F-O-R-A-R-T, at Gmail. <laughs> Ciao.